All right, baby. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Outdoor School of Thought. My name is Mark. We're here at Agua Vista Park where we're at the herring spawn. It's in the middle of the night and I'm really trying to get these herring. You might notice that during herring spawn season, a lot of fisher folk crisscrossing the bay, usually hitting up like Richmond, San Francisco, Alameda. So right now I've got my cast net. A lot of times people even use sabiki rigs to catch them. So I'm just gonna cast them in these waters and see if I can catch them if the herring spawn is still hot. So here we go. Kind of iffy though because there's a lot of structure under here and I don't want my net to get stuck. Oh, there we go. Seems like they're a few feet out. So they're hitting. So what's really cool is this year I'm using a four four foot net. Uh, and my previous videos you might have seen. I was using an eight foot net and it got really tough trying to pull in a huge amount of herring all at one time. So these four foot nets are really great because you don't get fatigued as easily. So I just keep blowing it for a while. You not have to worry about getting gassed out. But this is a bit treacherous. And I don't want my net to get all snagged up. But I'm hitting. Probably not very abundant. So you can take a look at this. See, they're actually laying a lot of eggs on the seaweed. And then, you know, if this was daylight, you'd probably see that the, the water here is not very clear almost milky. You can only imagine what's going on down there when these eggs are being left on the eelgrass and other seaweed. So if you're hoping to take part in the herring spawn, catch your own herring, um, some telltale signs that a spawn is happening. Oh no. So some telltale signs that a spawner is happening. As you might notice that there's a lot of activity, birds flying around and diving into the water. There's a lot of sea lions diving, trying to gorge themselves on, on herring. Vista Park because there's really no activity to, to show that something's actually happening. So also if you're trying to find some resources on where a herring spawn might be happening, a good resource is checking out the Lost Anchovies blog. I'm gonna put a link over here or you know, wherever the thing pops up. It's a really good place to, to check where the herring spawns might be happening. It's crowdsourced so a lot of I do these observations on their like work break or whenever they have free time. They're hitting up all these places and they go to that board to, to block whether or not uh, the hearings are hitting. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, the sea lion. We were only here for about 30 minutes, but once the sea lion started showing up, the herring started to disappear. So I'm looking forward to the next herring spawn and hopefully I'll see you there.